Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last year or so, I have been posting a couple of videos about the new outlook for Windows. And just to do a quick follow up, as um, there is some more info that's become available. And uh, um, Microsoft has finally started rolling out support for Gmail accounts uh, in the new outlook for Windows. And this is an announcement they did make last year. And uh, that was with the uh, rollout of the preview when they started making the preview version of the new Outlook for Windows available to all Office Insiders, where it still is being tested. Uh, it's not uh, stable yet. It's still in preview, being tested in the Office Insider program. And uh, uh, Microsoft has said uh, in a recent blog post that um, um, you can now start um, adding your Gmail accounts. And there's also um, support for Yahoo and iCloud coming soon which will also give you the ability to connect um, Mailbox through RMAP, which are all going to be rolling out soon, although uh, Microsoft hasn't given a direct timeline for what they are calling rolling out soon. Now, in that blog post, Microsoft has said, and I'm quoting, uh, the initial release of this preview only supported first-party accounts from Microsoft, um, whether they were work, school, or personal. And now, as mentioned, they have, have said that they are beginning to roll out support for Gmail accounts to those using the preview of the new Outlook for Windows, um, as mentioned. Now, um, this also means that um, you can also use your Google Calendar and contacts within the new Outlook uh, for Windows preview. So you won't just have access to Gmail. You can obviously get your Google Calendar and contacts. And for somebody who, like myself who is tied into the Google ecosystem, I think, as I always say, that's a nice move in the right direction. Now, over and above um, adding a Gmail support to the new Outlook still in preview, um, there are a couple of new features and options um, for third-party accounts. And I'm just going to go through these uh, quickly. They include, according to Microsoft, rich editing, spelling, and autocomplete suggestions. That would be using Microsoft Editor. Uh, the ability to send emails um, with polls to help make decisions quicker. That's for work and school accounts only, so just take note of that. Um, delay the delivery of an email for up to 10 seconds. And so basically that means you can undo sending that email if you have a change of mind or change of heart. So you've got 10 seconds to undo sending that email. You can also join a Skype or Teams call directly from the new Outlook for Windows and the ability to pin important emails to the top of your inbox, as I have mentioned in a previous video. And uh, over and above that, um, the rollout uh, is now taking place uh, worldwide, so to speak. But um, it's on a controlled rollout, so it might not be available for everyone to access the feature in preview at this stage. But as I have mentioned previously, if you are using the classic Outlook, you can just, if you do see that toggle in the top right, new Outlook, you can toggle that on. And then you will get um, access to the features, as I've mentioned in this video. And uh, um, if you want to add your Gmail account, um, according to Microsoft, um, the add account option is at the bottom of the left pane and then you go to accounts email accounts settings and enter the gmail account as we can see in the screenshot and then you'll be able to add your gmail account to the new outlook for windows so just letting you know that you can now add those gmail accounts and support for gmail accounts is now available uh, in the new outlook for windows still in preview so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one